everybody and welcome to the stream and like promised yesterday here i am back to finish up space quest 6 so yesterday we have gone to cyberspace and got everything that we needed for um, discovering the truth about the entire plan and apparently there is something going on is she dead is she alive is she only captured we don't know but i intend to find out almost immediately okay now <laughs> so let's go and let's start the game once again and we go Okay, we might have the hardest part of the hardest part of the game to go through. I have to lower it though. Like yesterday, the same volume was this. Perfect. Now it's consistent. So, hot papers. Ouch. So let me check again what they say. These are the printouts of the files you've collected from cyberspace as evidence against Dr. Bellows. Is he Dr. Bellows? He seems to be busy with his experiments. Okay. No. Uh, can I talk to him? You know, he's a bit ticked at you. I'd leave him alone unless you've got something really important. Why can't you just him? say the name of the person, eh? He seems to... He seems... He seems... Thank you, Google. Well, Dr. Bellows... Okay, correct. I think you've got some explaining to do. You're out of your mind, Wilco. Why? Thank so, what do you have to say for yourself now, Doctor? Confronted with the facts found in the files you located, he freaks and spills all. Oh, okay. Finally, correct. Oh... My no, spill it. Eloquently stated. No, for sure. I, I didn't think this all the way through until I crossed my own personal ethical line. I was already fucked. It had already gone huh. too far. The experiments alone. I thought I could do just this one thing and still live with myself. No, no. Love can move a person to do what? some strange things, Wilco. She knew how I oh. felt and used it to her advantage. Oh. I think I know what you mean about that love thing, but but wait a minute. Slow down. Are you saying you have the hots for... I, I mean, you are actually romantically intrigued by Sharpay? Oh, my God. Mm. Wow. You are serious. Oh, no. I agree that love can make you do some weird stuff. In this case, though, it made you do some stuff that was unethical and illegal, Doctor. Correct. Where is Stellar Santiago? I know Come she's on. alive, that her death was faked. What have you done with her? Great Caesar's ghost. The okay. Woman, she's still alive. But what? I'm afraid not much time remains. No, no time. No time, please. She is. Well, no time. Not much time remains. Please, no. As you must realize by now, the Golden Light Years project was merely a front for the research I'd been conducting per Sharpay's wishes. And? She is intensely fearful of death. You probably didn't notice that she is getting up in age a bit. <laughs> yeah, who could have guessed that? <laughs> in very simple terms, Janitor Wilco. That's Janitor Second Class, pal. And don't you forget it. <laughs> Please. Excuse me, janitor second class. As I was saying, Sharpay feared dying. Enough to take the lives of others to save her own. She knew I loved her. I remember the day I met her. It was at the funeral of... Oh, I believe it was her fourth husband. <laughs> and having seen her look so radiant, I fell for her hard. And she knew it. You should have seen her in black. 
disgusting. I'll pass, thanks. Just tell me about this. Mm. Okay. The bottom line is that I have developed a way to extend Sharpay's life by transferring her mental essence into the body of another. Oh, why? Until your friend Stella Santiago got I mean? away, we thought no one would miss you. Go figure. <laughs> what I have done is to employ <laughs> nanotechnology to take over the designated host body, as is happening with your friend as we speak. No. Oh. Stellar's body is being taken over by Sharpay? Jeez, I don't understand. Is there anything we could do to stop it? I've never really thought of it that way. What? And then? Well, think about it now. We Please. have to save Stellar. You can't let her die. You can redeem yourself at least to some degree, Doc. Come on, Doc. As much as it pains me to admit it, you're right, Roger. You're right. Okay, I think I may have a plan. Okay. We can save her. Fantastic. There are some interesting spin-off technological breakthroughs. I'm going to send you in to stop Sharpay. What do you mean, stop you in? Say what? No, I, I don't think... What are you talking about? It's her only chance. If you seriously care for your friend, you'll do this. Oh, the only way, huh? Oh, no, please. The only way. <laughs> well, okay then. I hope you're sure about this. I'm going boldly. I'm positive. Okay. Here's how we shall go about it. You will move your shuttle into Lab B. Meanwhile, what? I will generate new software for your shuttle's navigational system, which will help you locate the nanites. The very small robotic devices I developed for the intrusion. One of them is Sharpay. What the fuck? If you can stop Sharpay, well, your friend's chances of survival improve immensely. Then, then, once <sighs> I have located and extracted you, I shall work to repair whatever damage may have been done to Stellar during the attempted incursion. What the fuck are we talking about here? Oh, come on. What are you doing? Oh no. Two forks! Four forks! Oh, are we for real? What? The shuttle is nicely miniaturized by the beam deal. Hopefully, it is reversible. Perhaps you should have asked about that. There are some things you can't afford to have smaller. <laughs> Where am I? Um. Oh! What the fuck is this becoming? Dark Seed? Um. Oh. Ah, it was the focus. Ah, interesting. Here we go. Oh, seriously? Wow! Wow! Yeah! Wee! What? Why be big? Why be beep? Why be beep? Why is it be beeping? Um. Oh fuck! What is this? Oh no! What is this? It's the subroutine program disk the doctor gave you to be able to navigate through Stellar's body. Okay, so I insert it. Cracked by the numb nut guys, okay. Done. Alright.
Nanites found. Okay. And what does this mean for me? How do I navigate? Uh, wait. Okay. Uh, uh, where is my navigation officer? These are navigation. These are. System integrity failure. Okay. Um. The routine program. Remove it. Uh. Don't touch that. We don't know where. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh... <coughs> ah, it's raining. It's cold. It's under twenty Celsius. It's almost June. Ah, I can't understand what's happening. Uh, how do I call you up? No. Don't touch that. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Do I need the suit? Let me save. It's been quite the while since the last save, so I cannot even select anything there. Replace. So let's call it, uh, mm, yeah. Magic school bus. <laughs> oh, can I ask it like that or I die? It's pretty sticky out there. Maybe you should wear your EVA suit. Okay, if you say so. Okay. And grab it. Okay, uh, there we go. Every time. There we go. Done. Can I go out? You don't have to wear your helmet out there. Okay. Okay, but it's fine like this. Okay. What? Okay, let's look at this. You're treading on the fundus, a broad expanse of tissue covering the outside of the stomach. What is this? For all? some reason, doing so gives you the feeling of being a one-man army. After all, an army does travel on its stomach. Okay. <laughs> you recognize that festering infected crevice. As if Stellar didn't already have enough to worry about, she's got an ulcer. And it's not just an ulcer, it's puckered. It's a peptic ulcer. Very dangerous, I get it. Huh? You're treading on the for some after What is this? Oh, that looks real nice. And what is it? Oh. You're treading on the fundus. Okay. Is it? But is that's right. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't quite make it all the Holy actually. Hey, funny. We hope you're taking notes because there's going to be a short quiz at the end of the game. I'm gonna reload it. I missed a lot. I thought, uh, okay, but it was the same thing from earlier. Fuck my life. Ah, so let's grab it and let's grab that. No. Oh. Okay, I'm making a bunch of mistakes, but but no, all that's how it is. <clears throat> Let me see if I understand now. Okay. You're treading on the fundus. A broad expanse. For some reason, after all. Okay. You recognize. Okay. This. Oh. That looks real nice. Oh. What do you say about this? You're treading on the fundus. A broad expanse of tissue covering the outside of the stomach. Okay, I changed my mind about doing this. Is it too late? Can I still back out gracefully? No. <laughs> but as soon as the words spring gazelle-like from your lips, you regret them. You're here to do a job. You're here to save Corman Stellar Santiago from a fate worse than death. 
As if having you inside her wouldn't already be considered such a thing. That's right. I'm Roger Wilco, dammit. Man of action. Savior of the galaxy. All right. A man trapped in the body of a woman. Wait, uh, that didn't come out right. Mm. Mm. You didn't quite make it all the way to the stomach, having ripped a brand new shortcut through the greater mesenteric artery just off the aorta. Now you're parked on top of the stomach, and around you looms the heavily veined diaphragmatic musculature of the abdomen. Eh? Holy moly, that was a mouthful. Actually, I do have a vague recollection of some <laughs> junk, <laughs> junk. School, something having to do with the body. Anatomology or something like that. Sure. I think it was required. <laughs> hey, now that I think of it, it was pretty funny. At least I think it was. I remember how the class uh, laughed and laughed. Anyway, where was I? <laughs> funny, I still remember no. how it made me feel real special about being in that class. He said something like, uh, oh, what an interesting challenge you are. How am I going to fit one liter of knowledge into a half liter head? <laughs> we hope you're taking notes because there's going to be a short quiz at the end of the game. No. No, no. You didn't quite make it. Holy actually. Hey, funny. That's okay. I, I don't know what that big round thing is. I'm a janitor, damn it, not a doctor. Uh-oh, this tank's cover must have come open during Mr. Wilco's wild ride. Uh-oh, and by then, what do you mean by that? It's alveoli, but it reminds you of spaghetti. Alveoli? Your stolen miniaturized shuttle has become mired on the fundus of the stomach like a beached whale. Can I grab some uh, alveoli? Oh, would you look at that? You're the first one on your block to actually possess someone else's alveoli. Fantastic, I'd say. Uh, can I do anything with that? This heat tile looks loose. Whoops. I have to stop doing that. Never down. This heat tile. Whoops. Okay. Um, what am I supposed to do with that? You start to see something. And okay. Uh, am I supposed to do anything with the alveoli or just walking? When you're walking. I'm afraid of going down there. Do I just use this on that? It probably seemed like a good idea to you at one time. Yeah, like now. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't know it. I'm inside a body and it looks uh, mighty fine. Wait, what is that? Wow, that's some interesting looking stuff you've got collected in the engine intake. Looks like a small collection of blood capillaries. No, oh, she needs them though. Well, let's grab them. Change my mind. Can I? Oh. It's the bundle of capillaries you appropriated from Stellar. What is wrong now? What is wrong now that he's still going like beep? Your stolen miniature. Okay. Your stolen mi I don't know why. Your stolen mini. Your stolen miniature. Hey, why are you doing that? Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Um, what is this? You're the first one on your block. A VRI, okay. Your stolen mini. Can I. Oh, this is an exit? 
Uh, let's go through it. Let's go through the Packard Ulcer. Uh. What? The inside of Stellar's tummy is slippery, mostly because of the mucus secreted by the stomach lining. And there are a few pock marks here and there, but when push comes to shove, this is the most beautiful stomach you've ever been in. There's just this one thing. Those little robots are the nanites sent down to aid in taking over Stellar's body. They look like guard nanites. Oh no. But then, for all you know, they could be ballerina nanites. I don't think so. This gaping wound is the result of gastric juices eating away at the lining of the stomach, which can happen as a result of excess stomach acid, reduced formation of the mucus which typically lines the stomach's inner wall, or other irritants. Like me. But this ulcer is special. Most ulcers aren't big enough to allow janitors to crawl through. <laughs> Please. You'll have to remember to tell her about it, if you're real lucky and actually survive. No, oh, okay. So, do I go down here? Oh boy. Can I move this way? No. Oh mama. Oh mama. Here's the nanites. A cluster of stomach acid shy nanites is lurking near the entrance to the duodenum. They know all the cool places to hang out. No, I don't like. As do most computer game characters who find themselves in sequels of sequels, you stop the action to reflect on your past exploits. You realize you spent a lot of time looking at the contents of your own stomach. But this is the first time you've gotten such a good look at a pool of someone else's potential discharge. The pools are deceptively still and shallow. They look harmless, but they're seething with pepsin and hydrochloric acid. A chemical brew of protein dissolving, bacteria destroying glop, strong enough to dissolve almost anything, especially organic life forms like yourself. Ah, I'm fucked. Hmm. Loosely woven into the stomach lining is a piece of celery string. That stuff could be used to make steel belted radial tires stronger. What do you mean, celery? That it was the original inspiration for dental floss. What? I think I saw that on one of those James Burke shows. But please, please, please. Grab it. Holy shit! How long is it? That's rope. The inside of stuff. A cluster of stomach acid shine and they know all. What is this? Dang, these look tasty. Boy, that micro Prozac she inhaled slowed her systems down to a crawl. These things haven't been touched by stomach acid yet. Okay. You acquire a candy. Can I bring them all? I already have one. Okay. I already have one. Why do you are so proud about already having one? What is that, by the way? How odd, a bent staple. Thus far, it has resisted being dissolved by the stomach's acids, probably because of its location and Stellar's apparent lack of oral nourishment during her captivity. Ah, right. The acid probably hasn't risen high enough since this item found its way in here. What in the hell was she doing eating a staple anyway? Maybe it was some fad diet thing in the Galactic Inquirer. Probably, probably, for sure, for sure. A staple. It's a piece of that stringy stuff from celery. Stringy stuff from celery. These are the candies you retrieve from. Mm, I wonder stuff. what kind of candies are they? Sure thing. It's a piece of staple. You've got to wonder what was on the menu for Stellar's last meal. A feather? When, rather, if you get the chance, you'll have to quiz Stellar about her dietary habits. Sure enough. How do I mix this all up to survive? It's one of those ticklish pin feather things. <laughs> it's a feather! <laughs> what do you mean, ticklish pin feather things? It's a feather! Uh. 
and friends no? stomach ulcers how do I pass through that? Uh, let me just try oh oh My eyes. My goodness, those little guys are efficient. However, based on how they left your boots behind, you might consider some odor eaters. <laughs> please, 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 please. Okay. Ah, shit. Ah. <laughs> how do I listen to this? Hmm... I have to use these things. Let me just try. What was that supposed? No, I'm trying just to use it. You get fingerprints all. Okay. What was the? No. You get finger. Okay, I'm trying to use the end command because. You poke it. Okay. What was that? I tried to open it. I tried to open it. Okay. Uh. To pass through there. Can I? Are they open? Can I close the blood what vessel? No. no. Ah, right. Okay, like this. You cleverly tape the capillaries together. Okay. Ah, they were. They had. Okay, I have to look at the thingy for it. So what do they say now? All the little capillaries you collected are nicely attached together with duct tape. Okay, where is the duct tape now? It's gone. Can I put the rope on this? Careful. Combining those items might cause a rip in the space-time continuum. A tear in the very fabric of space itself. Or not. <laughs> oh well, this fish is going bad, eh? Let's look at it together and see what we can see, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh... No. Do I put this with this? Nice work. You've hooked up your makeshift hose to the pump. Oh, okay. The pump's ready to do its thing. Okay. Ah, I get what it. Okay, I get it. I use the pump in this. That's not really recommended. You're outfitted for the vacuum of outer space, not the inner acids of stellar Santiago. No, seriously, I want to use this. It probably seemed like a good... That's an interesting idea. No. Uh, why, 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 why? What's am I, what am I missing? What am I missing here, eh? Is that to do this thing? That's an interesting... Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, I am stuck. And I play plenty of puzzle games, but this one is pretty obscure. What does it mean? Uh, this may be like uh, a... A glue? Nothing happens. See most Okay, yeah, well, it's an old one. Careful. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful. Come no, no, no. Uh, maybe I I like close it up. In this galaxy. No. Um Shit. I don't to know. Uh This is starting to become quite difficult to parse. I cannot pass through. Or maybe I'll have to find the timing. Mm. Let me just see something that I saw earlier but I couldn't really clearly see. Because... 
Yeah, but what is this? Then? The inside of Stellar's tummy is slipped. There's just this one thing. Those little okay, no. Then, for all you know, they... No, no, no. I want it. The inside. There's. But then, for all. No, it doesn't interact with that. Oh. Hmm. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What can I combine? This is certainly like a string. A string of rope. Ah! Okay. Alright. That's your makeshift grappling hook. Uh and maybe okay, grappling hook. Maybe use the grappling hook on this and then I get sent inside the hole from here. Like this. Like this. Huh? Nice shot. Ah, that's it. Huh? That's your makeshift grappling hook. I wanted to use it though. No. Ah, uh, instead I go up here. Oh. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. This is an exit. Oh. Wait a minute, what is this? This is the lower part of the esophagus. Just below this is the stomach. Okay. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen an esophagus before? No. Check out the lungs on this girl. You don't get an opportunity like this every day. A large hunk of twinkoid cake food product is hanging just below her epiglottis. It appears to have gotten jammed on the way to her stomach for digestion. Maybe I can do something with... Okay. A lot doesn't this woman chew? <laughs> can I push it? Nothing. Huh. So she has also that kind of problem, man. I tried pushing it though. Maybe I... Can I do? Maybe I have to do it three times. I know this game. I have to do a couple things more than once. No. Why do you make me go like this again? Maybe a, a better, better stop. Maybe a better stop. Okay. What is this? These are the trachea and bronchi. That's where the lungs hook in. Okay. These are the. Interesting. That's a vein. Those appear to be the aorta and the vena cava. Who knew this was going to be so much fun? <laughs> At least I think that's what they are. I've never been much of an artery man myself. Oh, well, I forgot the pen just in case I need it again. Uh, this is the. Okay, yes, yes, yes. These are the. Okay, okay. What's the matter? Haven't you. And there's a ghost before? What the fuck? Hello? It's one of those tiny timed release pills. As I recall, these are designed to not melt down and release their medicines until they've gotten to an area past the stomach. She got in the bronca. Mmm, grab it. Okay. Okay. Strange enough that worked. But I didn't grab it. So What's the matter? Esophagus. Okay. This is it. This is the upper part of the esophagus. The larynx branches off from here, winding its way down to the bronchi and the lungs. Looking above, you see some sort of medical equipment blocking the way to the mouth. Looks like that's not an option for an escape route. Okay. Okay, so not up here, but 
Wait a minute, can I make her sneeze? Excellent guess, Chris. No? Let's try it. Here we go. Okay, ouchie. Okay, this worked. Huh? Are they running away? Come on. And then? Well? Oh shit. I better wait. Oh, they're dead. Here they go. Here they go, here they go. And now what though? Okay, this is kinda dangerous. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen an esophagus before? This is crazy creativity though. What's the matter? Well, that has been used. Why do I have this now? I'm gonna die. Uh oh no. Oh. Okay. It's one of those tiny top. Oh, no, no. let me grab it. An interesting idea. What are you up to, Roger? I wanted to grab it. An interesting What are you talking about? No? No. No. Uh, okay. Uh, shit. It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this juncture. Okay, it's okay. Sorry, I was wrong. What is this? Once the gastric juices partially digest the stomach's contents into a semi-fluid mass called chyme, the clumps of slurry trickle into this drainage hole. It leads to the duodenum, the beginning of the small intestine. The duodenum also happens to be one darn fine organ. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What's happening? Okay. This is the upper area of the duodenum. Matter pre-processed from the stomach enters here through the pylorus above. It has a lovely bile-colored decor and reason. <laughs> this is the area in which raw processed ingestibles are mixed with a variety of secretions for further breakdown. Wait a minute. Do I have to use this? You get fingerprint. Okay, no. You actually don't need to wear your helmet while traipsing around inside Stellar. Okay. Are you sure about that? That's the pylorus. That muscle has the final say over who makes it out of the stomach and into the duodenum. Okay. This is a bit scary. This is a bit scary. Oh, mama. Um. Hmm. Mm. Huh? Is this it? Oh, there's a bunch of exits here. One here, one here that's big. Okay. This looks like the center section of the duodenum. It has that same lovely bile green brilliance. What is this now? Ah, the old ampulla of butter. Surrounded by the sphincter of Adi. Didn't you always wonder what it looked like? The bile slick seems to be a little fresher there. No. It looks a lot more detailed than it did in Space Quest 4, that's for sure. What? This looks like the center. Okay. This looks like. Hmm, I think I can go. Oh, my anatomy classes. Oh, man. Oof. Ah. 
I don't know, I'll uh, save because I want to try going down and then that way, I don't know, I don't want to enter into a sphincter, you know, uh, it's just not my thing. But uh, I call it... Uh, I'll call it... Uh, situation... Is ass. No. This is ass. Let's go down here. Okay. This is the place where the duodenum meets the small intestine. The mixture of food, acids, bile, and enzymes move on from here and pass over the villi, where nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream. It's a fascinating place, wouldn't you say? No, thanks. This is the place. It's a. So. This is the end. Huh? Seems like not, nothing going. What? So let's try going here then. Okay. Okay. Welcome to the heart of the bile belt. This is indeed spew central. No. In this location, secretions from the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas merge to form a duodenal delight, guaranteed to break down almost anything the stomach doesn't. The common bile duct runs up from here. <laughs> That's the top part of the head of Stellar's pancreas. An odd feeling passes through you just being amongst Stellar's organs. That's the top. It's not a good feeling, I'll tell you that much. Uh, if I go up here. Welcome to the heart. Welcome. Up or down? Up or down? Up or down? Oh my god, okay, this keeps going. Oh, chug, chug. Too much for the engine. Okay, what is this? No tour of the duodenum would be complete without this unique outside view. Oh, <laughs> please. This is the cystic duct. You are quite near where the gallbladder becomes part of the bile parade. Okay. This is the... This is the... This... This is the... Oh my god, what is that? A large gallstone hangs above the entrance to the gallbladder. I don't know, man. Oh my god, why? Why are we here? Why are we here? Why are we here? Ah, fuck. What did they say? This is the entrance. A large gallstone hangs above the entrance to the gallbladder. Let's hope it's all right. Okay. Not too bad. Could be worse. Here before you, in all its magnificence, is the gallbladder. Wasn't this worth the trip? <laughs> sure. Wow, check out all that bile. Looks like her liver's been doing just fine. That's a pool of bile any liver would be proud of. You sure can't speak highly of its aroma. <laughs> all right. If I'm not mistaken, and I seldom am, okay. it's mucosa, or inner lining of the gallbladder. It helps make the bile even more vile by absorbing spare water content. That's so nice. Wait a minute, what if I need this? Hmm? Oh, automatically? You chuck one of the taped capillaries over the muscular ledge. It drops into the pool. Okay. Ah, that doesn't to do anything, eh? I wonder what purpose was that? I just tried the first thing that came to mind, but okay. I wanted to then use maybe this. You give the pump a stroke or two, and in the process, gather a nice helmet load of bile. I guess congratulations are in order. Thank you. Can I pick this back up? 
You've got plenty of that stuff. Or did you want to take some home to mom? <laughs> Please, sir. You've got plenty. Okay, not even going. Let's look at it together and see. It looks vaguely like. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave, eh? Then. Goodbye. Nice place, though. Um, why are you going on your own? What's happening here? No! Don't make me press anything! Oh, fuck! Okay. Oof. This is the. So. You are here now, eh? The gallstone is wedged in the bile duct. And that's just a fine place for it. <laughs> nice gallstone collection. Please. Grab some. You don't need any more stones. At least not that kind. Okay. Those are the gallstones you collected as souvenirs from Stellar's common bile duct. What am I doing with all this? <laughs> What am I doing with all this here? This is just nuts. <laughs> uh, let's hope. I'm right going this way. Uh, I see some holes. This is the main pancreatic duct. It appears that there's some blockage toward the tail of the pancreas. It definitely gets a bit snug. Seems to be a buildup of cholesterol arterial plaque. Okay. This is the main pancreas. Okay, no. What is this all? This is the. Mm, I don't like this holes here. This is the. I don't like them. Okay, I can walk over them. Hello. Oh boy. A build up, eh? It hurts your eyes to look at that. In fact, you feel a major headache coming on. <laughs> Please. Uh. Not much going. I don't walk through it, right? No, don't do the shit. You look at it, but not much. Uh, what if I try to go get some bile in it? Boy, would it probably? It would. No, no. Uh, so nothing, huh? What if I use this? It would appear as cool. It probably. It probably. It would. Okay, nothing. What do I do with that? Give you an M&M. Excellent. No. Okay, I have all this and there's a build up here. I don't know. Let's go back. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. Oh, maybe there was a road down here then. I do not know. Let's try going down here. far oh oh what are you, where are you going okay okay what is this way what is that I saw it what is that let's go back up back up Since you've entered the tapeworm not partially digested you'll probably give him heartburn I hope you're proud of yourself. Yes, thank you. Um, I'm trying to load a game. Yeah, huh?
Terra every time, eh? So many bugs in this game. Again. Sad died. <laughs> Seriously, don't know what happened there, but yeah. I died, that I know for sure. Let me just... Uh, since I went here and did all that, wait a second, huh? I couldn't see it, though. Okay, let me go this way. No, you go back. And you see that down there, it's death. It's a tapeworm that fucking scared me, by the way. Okay. Oh, mama. This way cannot do anything. What did you say was called? This is the main pancreatic duct. It appears that there's some blockage toward the tail of the pancreas. It definitely gets a bit snug. Seems to be a buildup of cholesterol arterial plaque. Okay. All right, all right. Wait a minute. Can I grab some? It wouldn't be prudent to do that at this juncture. Can I? Don't touch that. Okay, nothing, nothing. Hello, Thunder Ruth. Well, we are not in space at the moment. We are inside a person's body. How's it going? Making great progress, making great progress. Apparently. I just had a death. Yes. If you want to know exactly where we are, well... Let's see it. This is the cystic duct. You are quite near where the gallbladder becomes part of the bile parade. Exactly. Yeah, I died, so I have to redo a sector. I found a tapeworm. So yeah, this is a bit gross. So... <laughs> this is the cystic duct. As it go For me, it's going great. Today, we'll probably finish this game. But yeah. A large gallstone hangs above the entrance to the gallbladder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what can I tell you? But I entered here with my spaceship after being miniaturized. In fact, I called one save file. I called it... Magic School Bus. <laughs> Seemed appropriate. Wow, check out all that bile. Looks like her liver's been doing just fine. That's a pool of bile any liver would be proud of. You sure can't speak highly of its aroma. <laughs> oh, interesting, huh? If I'm not mistaken, and I seldom am, that's the mucosa, or inner lining of the gallbladder. It helps make the bile even more vile by absorbing spare water content. How oh, happy I am about that. Anyway, I wanted to have you some descriptions. Now I'm gonna do what I did earlier. You chuck one of the taped capillaries over the muscular ledge. It drops into the pool. Let me grab some bile. You know. I don't know why, actually. <laughs> but I cannot use it on the tape form. That's death. So I'll have to go back and see if I find something that I missed. You give the pump a stroke or two, and in the process, gather a nice helmet load of bile. I guess congratulations are in order. <laughs> no, thank you, thank you. I forgot about that line. Uh, can't I grab this back? You've got plenty of that stuff. Or did you want to take some home to mom? No, no, no. Right, right, right. Okay. All right. That this sequence that uh, initiates on its own. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Are you ready for the, an Indiana Jones moment? Oh yeah, they managed to have one here. <laughs> oh 
perfect now. I'll say. The gallstone is wedged in the bile duct, and that's just a fine place for it. <laughs> nice gallstone collection. You don't need any more stones, at least not that kind. Okay. So that's what I have here. I need to find it. looks vaguely like your hiney Okay, no, that doesn't say anything special. Those are the gallstones you collected as souvenirs from Stellar's common bile duct. <laughs> Thank you. These are the candies you retrieved from Stellar's stomach. I wonder what brand of candy it is. Mmm, uh, very mysterious, I'd say. Here we go. Nice place. Let's go back then and see if I can use that thingy on something. Uh, because not on the tapeworm, it's not strong enough. It fucking scared me. Ah, right. It's one of those tiny timed release pills. Alright, uh, maybe. Who knows? Let's try it. The fuck have I done? An interesting idea. What are you up to, Roger? I want to just look. An interesting. Uh, can I grab that stuff? An interesting idea. No. What have I done? An interesting. Uh, what have I done? Uh, oh, my helmet is screen again, though. Can I put it on? What was that supposed to be? Clever? No. As cool as it would be to interface these two items, no good would come of it. How do I pick that up? Okay, put it on. You actually don't need to wear your helmet while traipsing around inside Stellar. Okay. Time to save this. Oh man, but I don't understand what I'm supposed to do now. <laughs> How can this be? Just to grab this stuff, can't I? An interesting, an interesting, an interesting, an interesting. Uh, no, I'm missing something. Let me use this on that. As cool as it would. Okay, this is starting to become quite complicated now. This is not smart meat. This must... I must have something else to do here. Not saving because I don't know if I made definitive progress or I fucked up. But yeah... Oof. Not down there, there's a fucking tape worm. There's this stuff here. Uh, here it is. What can be said? Okay, no. This is the main pancreatic duct. It appears that there's some blockage toward the tail of the pancreas. It definitely gets a bit snug. Seems to be a buildup of cholesterol arterial plaque. Okay. Uh. Oh, so I go through here and something I can use. 
I didn't trust her. Use the. You're the first one on your block to actually possess someone else's alveoli. Alveoli. Those are full of red blood cells. Maybe they will bl unblock the cholesterol. Oh. And then. Don't take it back out. It's all fine where it is. Um. Wait, alveoli. The alveoli is well placed in the blockage. I got an idea. I just breathe on them. They are alveoli after all. I knew. Hey, that's me. No, that's not. That's you. Hey. What the fuck? Okay, there's more this way. What the fuck is this area? A nice pool of pancreatic secretions made up of insulin and glucagon fill the bottom of the islands of Langerhans. Beautiful. These little islets drip a pancreatic enzyme. This is later mixed with some stuff from the gallbladder to make that wonderful green bile antifreeze looking stuff that humanoid hurlers the universe over have come to know and hate. Oh. These little islands. Okay. I'm supposed to grab anything on this. And here we have the islands of Langerhans. They're a big deal here in the pancreas. <laughs> Apparently, they play an important part in introducing hormones to the blood system as well as adding an enzyme which, when joined with the bile secretion from the gallbladder, forms some kind of spew that breaks down stuff the stomach acids don't fats and that kind of thing not only that but some cells release insulin and others release glucagon to counter the insulin it even offers up a bicarbonate to counteract the stomach's acid all in all it's a pretty strange and busy organ <laughs> it just looks like a uvula warehouse to me <laughs> okay you dumb mess oh my god why are you so stupid what am I supposed to do in this place, by the way? Grab one of those. Let's grab one. Your hands won't hold much of that. Your hands. Oh. Despite the. Oh. It probably seemed like a good. Uh, the dropping. Right. You maneuver your helmet beneath the drip and manage to snag a nice little dollop of the stuff. Okay. Now what does he say? Let's look. Okay, nothing. Let's try walking back now and use that on the pill. Ah, what a mess. Oh, Roger. <laughs> no, to manage to... To save her, I have to fix all her ailments, basically. Oh my god, this is pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> Can I use this on that? What happens now, huh? Whoa! What? It's one of those tiny timed release pills. But it broke. You now own one of those tiny timed release pills. And can I grab another? You now own one of those tiny timed release pills. Okay. How many can I own? It's one of those neat little time release time pills. Can I get another? You now own one of those okay. tiny timed release pills. Okay, it's not doing anything for me, huh? Okay. Uh, uh let's go out. 
So at least I remember that I have to deal with the... Oh boy... Okay... Uh, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy... Uh, tape form... Please go. I don't wanna die again against the tape worm. That seems like... <laughs> we'll go back to space after these messages. <laughs> oh, nice twirl! Okay. Oh, not so close. Not so close. What do I do from here? Throw it down. As cool as it would be to enter. Oh man, I cannot see him. Please. No. No, no. No, no. Okay. Yo. That's an in. As cool. That's an. I don't see him. I cannot see him. He's gonna kill me. Oh my god, um... It would have... As... That's a... That's a... That's an... As cool... Excellent get... Where is he? Boy, wouldn't it... I don't see him! Ah! Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't see him. I don't see him. I don't see him. Fuck. Where is he? Boy wouldn't it probably as it probably it would have axel axel that's an boy it would have axel I have to find Oh what is that sound? Um I don't have any light in here As cool as cool that's a, as cool boy it probably that's a Do I have to slow down the cycles? Why can't I see? Is this are the cycles too fast? Huh? Excellent. It would have. It probably. It would have. That's. That's an. As. As cool. That's an. It probably. That's an. I cannot see him. Why can't I see him? Oh man. Let's go back up. Or I die. Since you've entered the tapeworm, not partially digested, you'll probably give him heartburn. I hope you're proud of yourself. What was, was his try again? Nothing. <sighs> Nothing. I cannot... Oh my god, I cannot understand where am I. And it bugs out also the, the loading and thing. Okay, there's something wrong with that. Another problem to have, I have to fix. This game wants to be so good, but also they want to sell it in stores and nobody wants to fix it. Ah, para -pa -pa, para -pa -pa, let me search it. Square 6, tape form, black screen. Ah, uh, what is the problem now? Okay... Uh... <laughs> okay, there is an easy fix for this. Okay... Uh, control... Uh... You have to re remove this. Here we go. Problem solved, apparently. Problem solved. Remove the scrolling. Remove the scrolling option from this. And it will not have any problem anymore. Easy fix. Once again. Okay. Is the scrolling removed? Scroll. Removed. 
text, speech. You can move everything if you want to. That's interesting. Scroll has been removed. Let's hope it works. Aha, it works. Oh, wow. This is the very bottom of our old friend, the Duodenum. You can see the beginning of the Jejunum. The villi start here. They increase the surface area of the small intestine a great deal, giving more area to absorb nutrients. Okay. All in all, it just looks like a French tickler turned inside out to me. A what? <laughs> Never mind, it's not important. Okay. Okay. Oi. Oi, 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 oi. Hello? Oh, mama. Great Scott, that certainly is one buff parasite. I think I'm gonna spew. But who'll notice? Man, that thing's ugly. Uh, let's give him those. There we go. Hmm, impressive. The tapeworm suddenly becomes much more animated. And? The tapeworm is a little wired, thanks to you. He looks like he has plenty of energy. And? Uh... This is gonna kill me. So that was an energy pill. Okay. Oh my god, what I do? Please remember to keep your arms and legs on the worm at all times. Oh, I thought I was gonna make him go away. What? What do you mean by this? Oh no. Is this like a fucking roller coaster? Is this like a roller coaster? Is that what you're implying? Okay. Yow! Now that's a ride you won't take in the Magic Kingdom. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Please don't go near. Uh, I don't know, man. I'll stay right here. It gads, man. Just how low have we sunk? All the way to the junction of the large and small intestines. That's how low. This also happens to be the home of the appendix. Ah, very good. That's your vermiform friend who, with a little help from organic and pharmaceutical resources, was kind enough to give you that ride along the approximately six and a half meters or so of small intestine that lies between here and the duodenum. But for me, it's a long time. It's a long road because uh, I'm so small. So... Oh, come on. Oh, mama. It gets mad all the way. Okay. Uh, what's the exit here? That's the beginning of the large intestine, or the colon, as some call it. I believe this would be the cecum. Why so accurate? Why so accurate? There's no need for that. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna save, then put scrolling back. Oh, okay, I didn't have to kill the thingy. Okay, then... Ah, uh, when I cheated at the arcade game, that was something that you had to do in the game. Then... I'll just call this... Uh... Oh, no. Can we sink? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Okay. Business. Oh my god. The old way of doing things on the DOS keyboards. Oh my god. That's incredible. How low can we sink? Let's look at this. This is the appendix. It's a strange piece of the humanoid anatomy considered by some medical types to be fairly useless. It may not be useful, but it does seem to collect some strange stuff. I see that. This is... It may... This is it may not okay. be useful. 
What is this? It looks like an old silver amalgam filling. Must have been bouncing around here for years. Can I grab it? Hey. You pull away a cracked piece of the filling. Nice. Uh... It's a chunk of silver tooth filling you found in Stellar's appendix. Okay. And that, what is this red thing? It's a fingernail, complete with paint. These have a knack for making it down here. <laughs> what do you mean? Suddenly you wonder when Stellar grew such long nails. Perhaps you haven't been thinking of Stellar as a woman as much as a crewmate. You feel an interesting longing. One look at your surroundings kills that feeling fast. But maybe after this is all over... What about your other uh, friend? Uh, girlfriend that's supposed to become a wife, eh? What about the, the Continuum? From the other Space Quest games? <laughs> you snap off a shard of fingernail and gingerly introduce it into your pocket. I guess. It's a broken fingernail tip you scavenged from Stellar's appendix. Biting your nails, huh? It's a fingernail. No, Suddenly no, no, the, this thing, this thing. This seems to be a sludge of rather heavy and not so digestible items. Okay. Sludge reminds you of your old nemesis. No, all right. You finished him off, but he still causes you to change your clothing more than the average person. How does she get this stuff into her digestive system? That's a screw Stellar probably doesn't remember. What the fuck? It's a screw. You can't budge it. Okay. What is this? Talk about hard currency. The Buckazoid has proven itself once again. This is even one of the old style ones. Might be worth some money. Too bad you can't carry it. What do you mean? You can't budge it. Ah, and that's why. Can I go this way though? No, I think I've already done things above and beyond the call of duty. Hey, a guy has to draw the line somewhere, and gosh darn it, this guy's drawn the line right at the... Right at... at, at the colon. You've never even met her mother. Yeah. So we agree. We agree. Okay, okay, okay. What do I do with this stuff, though? Fingernail and the silver residue. Now, where do I have to use this now? That's what uh, Shadow Games are known for. Not making me understand nothing of what I'm doing. Do we travel again, my friend? Oy, 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 oy. Uh, well... I'm missing something for sure. That thing is something I have to see and see if I can grab it. Because this is something... Let me let just look at it. This seems to be a sl sludge. Okay, let me stay in front. It's a relatively unscathed paperclip. How did it end up here? Okay. Oh, I can grab it. Why not before? Because I was in front of it? You carefully, very carefully, stole the paper clip in your pocket. Please, uh, calm down. Your orny brain. It's a paper clip from Stellar's appendix. You're definitely going to have to talk to Stellar about her eating habits. That is, if you make it out of here. <laughs> Oh, okay. You should have stayed yesterday, Thunder Root. You like the worm, huh? I wanted to ride it again. You like to ride the worm, huh? Um. I let you ride the worm. Oh, a Dune reference? A Dune reference. Way before Dune got popular. War music, it kinda fits Now that I think about it It doesn't even stink War music Perfect, no? 
So, he's agitated. The tapeworm is a little wired, thanks to you. He looks like he has plenty of energy. That's why I couldn't walk here. It's all dented. I see. <laughs> oh, no. Problem solved, I say. Now what the fuck do I do? Who knows? I'm gonna leave, though. Don't ask me. Maybe with this I can grab some of the cholesterol residue. I do not know. Maybe I can grab more of the capsules. Let me see if I can grab one more of those. Here. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. It's one of those top. No, eh? Ah, that's a problem. This tube. I don't remember exactly how things went, so I'll need to grab this rope. Then go up it. Because I don't remember what was up here now. Mm. All right. That's not an exit. <laughs> Hello, Gander. Playing Space Quest 6, but we're not in space. We're inside a body. Sorry to say. Hello, Gander. It's been a while. You missed quite a few of... Turn based uh, RPGs and RPGs in general. I played Ultima Underworld. Maybe you were for one of those streams, you were there. But since then, I played many, many more. How does it go for you? Everything good, I hope? Meanwhile, I, th I think about what I have to do with these items. Get fingerprints all over it. Okay, I cannot do anything with that. You poke it and prod it and generally make it feel like a piece of meat. Okay. Uh, you shiver as you run your fingers over the cold silver filling. Okay, so there's something to this. Oh. <laughs> okay. In this galaxy, those two items don't do anything together. Maybe it's different in your neck of the woods, huh? Probably, but uh, everything good uh, yourself uh, for me It's going uh, great. It's going great. There's been some up and downs, but at the moment great uh, Wish I had a bit more time for Twitch, but life is very busy at the moment Yeah, I know what you mean if I didn't stream I wouldn't play the amount of games that I'm playing Let me tell you. It's just how it is. Okay. There we go, let's try that. Careful, combining those items might cause a rip in the space-time continuum. A tear in the very fabric of space itself. Or not. Anyway, remember that I have the, the YouTube VOD channel in which if you want to find some interesting RPGs that you might have missed, you can check that one out. You can check that one out. I play a lot of RPGs even translated from Japan, like uh, The Glory of Heracles, uh, games from the Data East, uh, and other stuff. Uh, Ultima Underworld, uh, which is available on GOG. So if you want to check out stuff, remember that when you have time, if you don't have time for Twitch, but uh, check out uh, something. Maybe I can find yourself a game that you want to play. I know you're interested in checking out old games, and trust me, I don't play the usual stuff. I, I, you know probably by now, but I don't play the usual stuff that everybody else plays. I also play popular stuff like this, like Space Quest. It's popular among the retro uh, community, 
and also more obscure stuff because uh, I have a pretty big gamut of uh, tastes. So, not amazing. I tried to make myself like a Wing Commander, but uh, no, I couldn't. And I tried for a good six hours. I went overboard of an hour for the stream and it didn't happen. I'm thinking about what I have to do here. <sighs> yeah, you have a PlayStation 2 and a PlayStation 3, but no time to play them. It's more a collecting hobby at the moment. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. I, I, I have got a, a new batch of uh, PlayStation 2 games and uh, uh, to the Famicom edition of uh, Dragon Quest 3 and 4. I've got uh, a Japanese only Game Boy Advance game. Let me try to go back to the ship and see if I can interact with this stuff here because there's some broken parts in there. Here it is. This is the. I've been miniaturized and enter with the ship in here. But yeah, how do I repair this ship? So, how? Oh. To repair a ship. Okay. Yeah, I've got. Uh, but yeah, there. I posted a photo of it on my Discord. Uh, link down below if you want to check out my latest stuff. I don't know if you were already in the Discord or not, but yeah. I have posted a photo in the retro gaming channel on my Discord of the latest. Uh, the, the last two months of collecting. I've got also a Japanese-only PlayStation 2 game, Sengoku Bazara. It's a Capcom uh, hack and slash. That's Sengoku Bazara 2, for example, because the first one came out outside of uh, Japan as, uh, but got renamed as Devil Kings. So, can you believe it? They also did, I think, the third one and then Sengoku Bazara Heroes. I didn't discover that I can join it. Thank you. It's a bit dead, but uh, I, don't, I don't mind. It's mostly a repository for all I do. So if, if more people join it and keep it alive, the better. There's a bunch of channels for kind of everything I people need to hobbies. A channel for self-promotion, a channel for uh, um, modern gaming activities, separate from the one for retro gaming in general. Yeah, exactly right, that one. Tell me if the link still works, otherwise I'll have to update it. But it should still work. Every once in a while I update everything. So, uh, what do I do with this kind of stuff here? This thing and nail, maybe... It probably seemed like a good idea to you at one time. I, 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 I'm thinking of something that can be used to pop this one out. As cool as it would be to Nothing. Let me put the silver filling on it then. Boy, wouldn't it be Okay, this game. Sierra at the end always goes for the most obscure stuff. Uh, even in this game is actually amazing looking. And I love that. But now I'm kind of going slow. Uh but I'm sure it is the silver. After all, isn't this made of half silver? Your stolen miniaturized shuttle has become. No, it doesn't say it anymore. But it was, no? It, it it is for sure the silver. Although the concept of rubbing silver particles all over the shuttle is interesting, perhaps putting it in the fuel tank behind the blinking red light would be more effective. Thank you. Actual, an actual int. So behind. Ah. Oh, thank you very much. So I was missing some fuel. All of this I did for fuel. So now... 
Your stolen mi okay. What does he say? The green light now. Your stolen. The reassuring green indicates yes. I am ready to rock and roll. Okay, I can go again in the ship. So let's enter. This heat tile looks. No, I wanted to enter. This heat tile. How do I looks. enter? Um, let's walk in it. Working it. Seriously. Why is it so difficult to understand how to enter my own ship now? Ah. Okay. I'm just trying to enter my own ship, please. No, stop it. Judging by the spongy, sticky surface and the rippled, undulating muscle churning underneath. You deduce that you're standing on a stomach. Congratulations. But you're not 100% certain. It's just a gut feeling. Oh, they did it. Oh my god. I'm trying to enter though. That little thing? That's the stolen miniaturized door to your stolen miniaturized shuttle. Hey. Okay. Oh. Good eyesight. Now we'll have to do one of those puzzles where you have to find a one-pixel coin or something. No, please, no! But hey, who'd design a mean, unfair puzzle like that? No, please, no! Your stolen miniature... No, please, okay, let's try to this. This heat tile looks... Whoops! Oh, come on, open the door! Okay, finally. At least I uh, found the door. You neatly replace the EVA suit in its proper place. Okay. This can join. Will be a good way to stay in touch for when I am not on Twitch. Thank you. Thank you very much. But yeah, I post there also updates about what games I have reviewed, and what is Arachne doing, and stuff. So there's. It's all automated, all connected to Twitch and YouTube. I don't post uh, when I upload the VODs though, that's not important. So, and this time I have to use... And also, people can contact me there, ask me for DMs, it's a good way... ...to do this. Okay. And it works this time? Alright. So now it's found. They have been This is the shuttle's cockpit. All the So the nanites have been here. defeated from here. This is the this other nanites. Nanites. I'll have to uh hopefully don't I don't fuck it up. Yeah, they went back to I don't know if it was uh, um Space Quest 3, but you can use yourself a mini shuttle instead of having to pilot a ship like in Space Quest 5. You, had, you were a captain after all, but I prefer the personal feeling of this. So, uh, um, uh, headache inducing. Let's see. Uh, initiation. Power is on. This looks like the. Oh no no, the end. Initiation. Location locked. Add into the brain. Okay, it works. I pressed earlier. It works. Let's go to the brain. And away from this gross period of my life. Um. Okay. Okay, well, I left to exit. The knights are still in there. I have to grab the EVA suit. Oh boy. Let me grab the suit again. Grab that. And now grab that. Now, let's put it on. Alright, 
Do I have to put this on or this area? Oh, there is no area. Good knowledge, good knowledge. Thank fuck I tested. You don't have to wear your helmet out there. Are you sure? The shuttle feels flimsy. Okay. Are you sure about that? Okay. Actually scared of that. But okay. Where am I? Um Oh. Well, let's look at it. It's right where you left it. <laughs> okay, what is this? This is the meninges. It's a three-layer cover for the brain. Check out the cool blood vessels. <laughs> okay. This is uh, What is this uh, sticky stuff? Right Not this one. This is the meninges, okay. It's the old gray matter itself, our friend, the brain. At least some of us are familiar with it. I don't remember seeing you at the meetings. <laughs> For some reason, you're drawing a complete blank on information regarding the brain. No, no, no. How, how coincidental. Okay. Uh, do I just drop down? Or do I have to go up here? Let me see. Exit this way. No. Can I go up here? Nothing. Let me try to drop down here then. Maybe I can jump it. No. Maybe with a pole. Pole vaulting. Boy, wouldn't it be cool if that really worked? It would be. It would be. That's an interesting. Okay. As cool as it would be to interface these two items, no good would come of it. Are you sure about that? Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Pfft. I don't know. To know. Uh. Maybe the fingernail. Wait, is there some broken tissue here? This is the not much. This is this is okay. Oof, this is tough. Let's see. Oh, you slice away with the nail, and amazingly enough, manage to cut a slice in the barrier. I hope this is no any permanent damage. Oops. This is this is. Hey, that's me. <laughs> Intelligent. Anyway. Where are you going? Oh. Another mini labyrinth? Okay. Can you work on this? Okay, here we go. Um. This is the... This... It's the old... For some reason, you're drawing... Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. I know what to do here. I can put it right there. As cool as no. Excellent guess. Excellent guess, Kershin. Okay. Ah, getting stumped every sector of the way. Uh, <laughs> okay. Do I just try jumping it? Uh, shit. Uh, well, I got a sin. Here we go. Let's replace it with that. Let's jump it. Yikes. How am I supposed to jump across this one? Right? Okay. Jump it. Oh, you do it. Ah, you had. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay, 
Keep pressing, keep pressing. You can do it, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Man, that was close. Okay. Thank fuck it, there was that for me. Okay. It's an elevator built by the nanites to help gain access to the interior of the brain. Yuck. What is this instead? Nice mood lighting. <laughs> okay. Holy captain's log, Batman. There are a few more of those nanites here. How am I going to handle this one? Okay. Nanites are there and they look real pissy. Oh boy. These ones are not the small ones that look like microchips. They don't go in Windows 98. I don't think so. At least. Well. What can I say to you once unless uh, I want to say... Well, fuck. That's what I think I can say. Uh, more like... More like... Uh, giant... Knights. My knights, my ass. You know what? Let's throw rocks at them. Fuck it. I don't think I can hit them from here. Okay, okay. Uh, if I go in the front of it... Uh, 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 uh. I don't think I can hit them from here. Well, I wanna see how do I die here. Hello, guys. Ah. So close and yet so far away. How embarrassing to get wasted by the laurel and hardy of nanites. Oh, can I talk to them? Talk to them. You start to say something and then you remember that you're supposed to be a man of action, not words. Or is that the other way around? What do I do? Oh. Oh. I'm in the background. Oh! Oh, I died differently. And yet so I died differently. How embarrassing to get wasted by the laurel and hardy of nanites. Okay. Well, 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 well. That's okay. I can go into the background. Okay. Okay, maybe from back here. Okay. You chuck a gallstone at one of the robots, causing it to think the other one did it. Then I do this. You chuck another gallstone, this time at the other robot, who also thinks the other one did it. <laughs> okay. Watch out yourself, man. Shit. That was quite effective. <laughs> okay. That was very impressive, Roger. I'll bet that's not something you hear every decade. <laughs> Please. Okay. Um, this is an elevator. It's an elevator built by the nanites to help gain access to the interior of the brain. Yuck. So, can I grab anything from self deactivated nanites now pose no threat? I guess I'll go then. Walk on up there if you want to touch them. Oh, okay. Sorry. Can I walk on up there if I want to touch them? Apparently not. Walk on up there if you want to touch them. And just not, not a little tease, you are. Okay. Okay. What's in this area? It's a recently constructed shaft between the hemispheres of Stellar's brain. What is that down here? It's a recently constructed. It's a recent. It's a recently. Okay. This button takes you. Okay. Okay. Oh, what? Too too fast. Too fast. No, I didn't want to go up there. Okay. 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 
Let, let's slow down those cycles for a second then. I, I want I saw some signs and I wanna read them. Slow the cycles. Fifty. Mm, it's gonna be good enough. Huh? Oh shit. Uh, what does he say? So this is the motor control center. This is it? So this is this Okay. What does it say here? This sign says this is her pleasure center. Hmm. Calm down. This sign says this is her This sign says Okay. This button this button. Okay, not in here, not in here. Wait. Interesting. The sign says this is Stellar's cough control center. Okay. What does this say? Oh, this is her choice of men center. It looks a little odd. Looks a little odd. So meaning that she she likes me because uh, I'm odd. Okay. Oh. We have arrived. Okay. Let's put the cycles back up. That was a bit too fast. At a hundred percent cycles. On those box, otherwise. This is strange looking. Used pieces of nanite hardware, as well as some stuff that looks vaguely like mining equipment, litter the area. I see. That's the elevator you rode down from the surface of her brain. Just to remind myself. Hey, that's me. It's so true, bestie. A small opening between the brain wall and the debris pile allows a small amount of light to escape. I wonder what is there. A huge pile of debris is standing in front of what appears to be some sort of passage. Light pours through the opening. Okay. And a reference to a um, uh, band of musicians. I'll call it Love Your Brain. So, can I grab anything? Your words are so. No, no, grab, grab. Your effort to move it is futile. This would be a challenge for you, even if you were full size. Oh, hey, wait, hey, calm down. And this one? Your effort to move. This Your one? Effort to Your effort. No, oh, this handle, no? Huge I just want the handle. Your effort to. Nothing. Nice O. This is strange looking. Used pieces of. Oh, the same thing. Well. It's going in it. Can I move it? I cannot move it. Uh, what do I do down here? There's this, no? Move this. Your effort. To your, your, your effort. Your effort. Your effort. Your, your effort. Your effort. What am I supposed to do here? Okay. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Wait a minute, maybe to make it go. This is the mucus in the brain. Move it. I got it, maybe. Okay. This is. Uh... Interesting. The sign says this is Stellar's cough control center. Here we go. This is it. It's a recently constructed shaft. This is Stellar's con con of control center. I try to prod it. That's an interesting as boy would. It okay, wait a second. I'd better never. Mm. I'm trying to make her cough, but this goes by so fast. It's kind of imme immense. How fast does it go by? Let me try. Excellent. As cool. Isn't this it? Interesting. Cough control center. So this way maybe? Ah, okay. Again? Not anymore. 
Is that going down now? That's cool. Maybe it, I moved it. Okay. Dwarfed. A huge pile of debris is standing in front of what appears to be some sort of passage. Light pours through the opening. Okay, what is this now? This is strange looking. Used pieces of the same from earlier. I cannot pass yet though. That's not enough. Ah, oh, what next? Ah, uh, 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 uh. Mm, uh, maybe try this. Whoa. Mr. Wilco, I must oh, confess I'm impressed that you made it this far. You are either a very lucky man, or the classic case of how looks can be deceiving. Oh, man. From what I know of your history, I can't say that in this case looks are necessarily deceiving. <sighs> On the other hand, I don't think luck accounts for it all either. There's definitely something different about you, Mr. Wilco. It's a pity, though. I'm afraid this is where the odds catch up with you, Roger. I do hope you don't mind me referring to you as Roger. I feel we can both be on a first-name basis now, since we will soon be sharing such intimate moments. My rebirth and your death. Not necessarily in that order. <coughs> I'll attend to you in a moment. I have a few more little details to finish before I transfer my consciousness into this body. Enjoy it, Roger. It'll be among the very last of your memories. Um. Oh, and I, I... by the way, escape attempts will prove to be futile. You will be incinerated if necessary. Jeez, what a bit. I'm sorry. What was that you were saying? Ahem, <clears throat> nothing. Me? Uh, I was, a, uh, uh, I was saying, uh, what a bite. Yeah, I had a little trouble with some parasites a while ago down in the digestive tract. Uh, that's all it was. Yep. Yep, that's all it was. No problem. Okay, in case she kills me, I have to try a couple things here, but we'll see soon enough if, it is, if it's true. So, uh, sharp bot. Welcome to the cerebral cortex. It looks like someone's been mining brain matter. Welcome to the. Okay, what is this, by the way? It looks like a bundle of nerves with electrical current through them. The robot's head swivels constantly to keep an electronic eye on you. Ah, uh, okay. The sight of the claws mounted on the turret make you wish you were wearing a deep ends undergarment. No. It's the robot Sharpe is using, just as Doctor Bellows told you about. Right. It's the robot. It looks like that shovel's been busy. Right. Oh boy. That is quite the predicament, I mean. Hmm, that's quite a drill. Hopefully you're not having any feelings of inadequacy. Please. Welcome to the set. No, no. The sight of the claws mounted on the turret. No, 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 okay. It's the robot shot. It's a piece of mining equipment. She's been digging around in the cortex. A conveyor moves freshly dug brain cells to the top of the pile. What's down here? Welcome to the nothing else. Hey, that's me. That's right. Anyway, what can I do here? Fuck. I think I'm gonna die if I try to do this. Ah. 
Wow. I tried the first thing that came to mind. That conducts electricity. Whoa. That was actually a great idea. Go figure. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I kicked her butt. Just look at me. MacGyver wishes he could be me. Yeah, he conducts electricity, no? It was bound to happen. The never-ending battle between good and evil was once again waged. Mm. Once again, good has emerged victorious. I don't know about that. Yes, and with me on its side... Yes, but leave now, please. Stop them. Mm. I'm gonna... For good over evil. Yes. In it, hey! Ah! What? But I thought I took care of you. Well... It appears you Ew. got wrong now, doesn't it, Roger? Apparently. Wilco, I haven't survived this long without taking precautions. The robot was just hardware. My mind still exists. I can see that. Oh, real wonderful. Oh! <gasps> Oh, hey, watch those tentacles, lady. I thought that being partially embedded in the street on polysorbate was a strange feeling. I, uh, 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 take this rotten fish. Fish? That's brain food. What do you mean? It's working? What? What the fuck? <laughs> All right. She actually chowed down on that rancid fish. I thought I'd never get rid of that fish. <laughs> well, goodbye, everybody. I'm leaving, huh? Oh, wait. It doesn't feel over. Hello? Give me an exit. <laughs> what the fuck? Is this somebody? Um. Is this the doctor? I'm seeing it from the brain? Or the alveolus? Or the nose? Maybe. I start to leave the area, eh? Oh, my signal. It's done. I'm leaving. No. Nice shot. No. Neil. Oh, there you are, Rico. <laughs> Oh my god. Boy, Stellar. With all that's happened recently, I never would have imagined that we'd be standing here together. Me neither. It is a miracle, Roger. <laughs> I was afraid that by the time you got my message it would be too late. I was certain I was doomed. But you didn't let me down. Oh, man. What you did was incredibly brave, Roger. Not to mention intensely risky. It took Dr. Bellows a lot of work to clean up after you and Sharpay. Sorry. I must say, Roger, there's not a man in the universe who knows me inside the way you do. Please. It was a strange feeling, but I went in there all business. There wasn't a moment I wasn't thinking of your welfare. That's right. Oh, give me a break. Let me put my boots on. It's getting deep in here. <laughs> what? Cheese it, pal. Or I'll rip out your larynx and you won't be able to get a job doing bad voiceover work for Chinese action pictures. What did you say, Roger? Oh, um, I was just mumbling to myself. <laughs> you know, Stellar, there's one thing I noticed while inside you I, I thought I might share. And what's that, Roger? You eat like a goat. You really have to change your eating habits, Stellar. I saw some things in your digestive tract I wouldn't wish on Sludge Vohal. You really have to clean up your consumption act. 
<laughs> yes, I know, I know. Dr. Bellows said he was able to fix most everything done to me during Sharpay's invasion, as well as patching an ulcer that was playing havoc with my stomach. He told me the same things. You don't you might masticate. Chewing. Chew, you masticate. Wedged in your throat that, that would have gagged Linda Lovelace. What? Okay, Roger. Okay, I got the message. What did he say? Let's change the subject, shall we? Ask me where I'm stationed next. All right. Why don't you just tell me? Boy, some fun you are. Sorry. I guess I'm a little grumpy. I had a real day. I, I had to clean the captain's log entry container. Then somebody got a nice buzz in eight rear and decided to take a wormhole ride in the hollow suite. They hit a few wrong buttons, and the next thing I know... Please, I she's trying to be romantic, Roger. ...off every wall and ceiling. Apparently, they truly did make the room spin. Boy, they spackled everything. Had to use the putty knife to chip loose some of the chunks of... Uh, Roger, I'm sorry you had a rough day, but can we please change the subject? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Anyway, I think you're gonna like your next assignment. What do you mean? Really? What is it? Where is it? Sorry, you're just gonna have to wait. No, to not a cliffhanger. This game never received a sequel. It was supposed to, but it got cancelled. You never do that. Oh, okay. maybe they show it. No, maybe they show it. Maybe they show it. No. This is the place. Who knows? No? Who knows? After credits. Roger and Stellar warp off into the nebula set. Many questions remain. Will Roger and Stellar become an item? How will Beatrice Wankmeister react when she hears about this new friend in Roger's life? Will Roger's voice be a few octaves higher as a result? Would they dare to make another one of these things? Only time and money will tell. Okay. I've been up to my lips in urinal pucks lately. I hope it's something different. Ah, uh, too bad. Sierra closed down when they were developing the seventh one. This is it. wrote this crap oh yeah Scott yeah well yeah then uh, uh, good 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 work <laughs> oh man okay this has been quite more fun than I expected it to be To be honest with you. Did you hear about the animator who killed himself? Yeah, he, he couldn't draw his own breath. Oh my god. Oops, sorry. Just writing down a couple things. And I always use the incorrect items and windows goes Bloom. you cannot write that these by the way are the credits they're called credits because well we can't afford to really pay anybody until more people buy the game actually a reality about game development <laughs> crediting people like in, in all media is done because in case the project is a failure uh, they can be poached for other projects around just by looking at the credits. Credits uh, are made to look also cool sometimes, uh, not in this case, but, um, <coughs> but uh, they are uh, absolutely made to look cool for the, pl the player of the one watching the movie. But mostly they are uh, industry standard, they have to be there. All these people worked on this dumb game? I mean, yes, have you seen how complicated it gets after a while? And how full of it, eh?
Gary Owens, William Hall, Carol May. Boy, da boy, da Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet. Charles Martinet. Doing Pa Chon Soken. Charles Martinet is. Charles Martinet, P2. Charles Martinet, Ray Trace. You have no idea, Charles Martinet was everywhere until. Uh, Turnax in Skyrim. I kinda slowed down a bit after that. You wouldn't have guessed it, but yeah. I had heard that he was in a bunch of uh, Sierra and. Uh, and also LucasArts game in the 90s and other stuff from the 90s. Oh! Thank you, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. That's it, bye bye. No more, bye bye. That's it, all finished, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Are you finished? Bye bye. Yes, bye. Bye bye, bye bye. See you later, later. Bye bye. Okay, this is it, the last time. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Get it. Good. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for playing Space Quest Six. This is Gary Owens signing off. Thank you. Oh, he signed off for you. The game closed. Oh, the game closed. Okay, that's amazing. But yes. Well, since it's pretty early, I'm gonna go and do a BRB real quick, okay? And give you some music in the meantime, so that uh, I can come back with uh, some down well. I have discovered the tactic to maybe finish the game, I just have to get good at it. Which is another pair of hands. Yeah, it's a, it's a problem. It's truly a problem, but yeah, I've got the music, that is ready. So, I'll see you again shortly. Don't go anywhere. Be right back with more gaming uh, and done well, which I managed to arrive at 4-3, the devil before the final boss of done well. So, I'll try again today. See you soon.